What is going on guys? My name is Paul and I like to do. Here's my bike. I rode my bike to, to the uh, shop today. But I also have my dash. I dropped this off with my truck. This whole dash right here needs to be taken care of because it's heavy, there's tons of stuff on it and I just need to get rid of pretty much everything on it. So pretty much everything that's not metal from here to there is gonna get cut off and everything that's metal that doesn't need to be here is gonna get cut off as well. So let's get started on this whole dash take apart deal. I guess I'm just gonna unbolt a few things right here. That was easy. That bolt was already halfway out. I gotta figure out a way to keep the dash in the car. Right now, I'm just taking out extra junk right now because I don't need extra junk. I'm inspecting this whole thing right now to figure out which direction I want to go with it. All right, so I need to go grab an impact with some eights. I've got this little setup, half inch, three eighths, quarter inch, two a seven on a half inch impact. I'm gonna need an extension for it. It's a good thing I got a big extendo. That one's out, but see, there's one more. Oh, there's not one more. Oh yeah, now I see how I'm gonna cut this. Y'all really aren't gonna like this, but I don't really care. All right, so hopefully I can get this guy out. I'm just pulling more, more junk parts out of the car. Where'd the extension go? Oh, there it is. There's probably just a few more bolts holding this whole dash to this metal bar. Now I can go ahead and start cutting because I think I've got an idea. I'm gonna cut here, here, and then proceed to cut everything else. But until then, I wanna get these out, all these bolts out and the dash off of the dash bar. So that way I can work a little bit more magic down here. I cut it apart like it was a salmon. I'm strictly metal on this dash bar, which makes my life easy. So now I don't have to worry about melting the plastic. Now I can just take a cutting wheel, cut that off, cut that off, grind it down, make it look good, bolt it back onto the car, and everyone's happy. Then the dash, I'm gonna cut right there on that line. Right, 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 get it, got it, good, go. All right, let's go. What we're going to do is take this dashboard apart, or this dash bar apart. And uh, well, we actually took everything apart. So what we're gonna do now is basically just cut it with this cutting wheel that's right here. And then uh, sand it down, make it look nice, make it look flush, make it not look bad. And then from there, we will be able to use this half of the dashboard, which is really all I want to use out of it. And uh, we'll be good. So let me start cutting. All right, there's one piece and here's two. Easy. There's that part of my dash. And there's this part of my dash. All right, so this is the dash bar and this is how it's gonna sit inside of the car just like this, just over the driver's side because I don't really have passengers that are gonna be sitting in here. So let's go ahead and start cutting on this guy. All right, it is hot. Oh dang. Bam, bam. Whoa, Black Betty. Bam, bam. <laughs> it unplugged. I, I brought it too far, but at least I got it. So now all I gotta do is make it look a little bit better, clean it up a little bit, um, clean this up, and then I will be solid enough to go ahead and slap her back on the car. All right, so getting these bolted back in. <laughs> this dash is totally, completely torn apart. It's kind of funny. All right, so it looks like those three bolts. Oh, there's one more. There's that one. There we go. And the last one is in here. It pretty much looks like a solid piece now. There isn't anything else to bolt to. So, this is the story of a girl. Now my new and improved dashboard. Look at this dashboard. Y'all are going to be like, what the f***? Yep, it's right there. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't need a passenger. The only reason I kept the plastic is because I don't have aftermarket gauges, so I'm just gonna bolt them back in. It's literally a car made for having fun in and nothing else. There's no AC, no freaking anything. Let's go ahead and take my fixed dash and put it outside. This weighs like a solid maybe 10 pounds, which is a lot better than like 40. All right, well, I'm just gonna put this dash right here. 
on the trailer good to go and then go pick it up with my truck and put it in the car all right so i need to vacuum out this thing right here and once i do i will go ahead and get it prepped for paint but i just need to vacuum it out real quick because there's too much stuff in here for me to be all doing all that stuff with and i told gavin whatever it vacuums out he can have so all this change gavin can have so that's now his responsibility not mine <laughs> So that's a whole ass bullet right there. There's a 25 caliber bullet. Huh. I didn't think I'd find that in this car, honestly. That, that was probably one of the last things I think I would, would have seen in the car. But they're normal, so I'm not really too phased. All right, so now my car's vacuumed out. All I need to do now is get a rag, clean out most of that little dirt and debris that the vacuum won't pick up, and then go ahead and paint it. So I am back in the garage, and the dashboard is done because y'all just saw that. So let's carry this thing back into the car because this is going to be the car's actual dash it's pretty easy to install just put it right there actually i gotta take the steering column and put it down here all right my battery died so i'm back again but like i said putting the dash in is easy just gotta get it all mounted in the right spot oh boy come on all right, all right that's in the hole that's in place and now that's in place so that's how the dash is gonna sit in the car pretty simple and fairly easy so i'm gonna bolt it in here there here and then attach the harness to it attach the fuse box back to it and we will get this dash in the car or half dash in the car not even half dash because that's half so like a little bit less than half and get it back in get the steering wheel back mounted up and once i get the steering wheel mounted up i'll put the corbo seat in and this thing should be good on the interior and we'll go from there so let's go ahead and get started i gotta get down here and attach a lot of stuff Dang, yeah, I got a whole lot of stuff I got to attach. I'm gonna have to take this dash out and wire some of this stuff in, or at least put some of this stuff in place. Oh, there's the OBD2 connector, that's nice. I'm gonna set that in a spot that's pretty useful. All right, well, this is too much work for me to do on camera, so I'm just gonna put some of this stuff back in off camera because the GoPro is just in my face. All right, so I got the dash in, I got the steering wheel kind of on there. Every bolt in here is loose, but uh, all the bolts are on, so that way nothing will fall out. So let's go ahead and get this uh, headlight plug, plug this guy in. It's gonna go like that, so the plug will connect. All right, that's plugged in. So in theory, I should have headlights now. Got lights. You really can't see it, but actually I'll show it. So got lights, so that's good. And that's gonna mount right here. All right, now let me get some bolts that fit that. Here's one of the bolts. Let's go ahead and tighten this guy. And she tight. All right, now let me grab that eight that's up here somewhere. Freaking buckets. Buckets. We got the gauge cluster, which is fairly easy to install. You gotta plug in these plugs and then put it in and mount a few bolts. So now these guys are in. Sweet. All right, now it's in place. I can put those bolts in and not have to worry about a thing. These look like they're also gonna be sevens. Yep, they are. Dang it. Drop that one. Pick that up in just a second. Two. Now I can grab my valence right here. Or I guess the shroud. All right, that pops right into place. Now my headlight knob, which is right here. All I gotta do is line that up, click it into place. Sweet, all right. Next up, I'm gonna take, that's gonna be a deep 10. I never would've thought that I would've been using a car as a jungle gym. All right, so these two grounds need to be grounded and put that 10 back on. Those were grounded to the frame but that is also a ground that works well too, so that'll work. So those two wires had to be grounded somewhere. That's gonna work just fine for them. I'm gonna get some self-tappers and self-tap this uh, OBD2 sensor somewhere, but for now it'll just hang here so that way I can get to it easily. But I'll, uh, I'll mount something up there for it to be a lot easier, easily accessible at least. Figure out what size bolt this is. Probably like a 14 or something. It might even be a 15. And then there's Caleb. Hola, Caleb. Yeah. I almost got home. Really? And then I remember. You need your mic. This is. Oh, and that. Oh, that's a brake rotor. Don't let that hit the floor. Well, I'll see you here in a few. Yeah, that's where we're coming. 
fin my mellow. Work's going great. My dash is almost in. All 40% of it. So. It's been about roughly 10 minutes since our conversation from when it was supposed to be 20 minutes ago. So how are we looking now? 10 more minutes. Really? Yeah. Sweet. I'm on time, dog. Audio is middle. Follow him, by the way. That's mellow. Follow fan my mellow. Is it a 15? Yeah, it is a 15. All right, she tight, baby. Oh, go for it, just fell straight off my head. Go back up under here. Oh, it actually is a 13. So let's go ahead and tighten this steering wheel up. That's supposed to connect to something. What's it supposed to connect to? All right, well, at least now the dash is in. So I'm gonna pull this uh, column out, make sure everything's plugged in, and then go from there. That's what I needed to get to. These two need to plug together. There we go. All right, now I can put the console back in because everything is plugged in that I need from back here. Those were just in the way, so gotta get back up like this and guide it in like it was a tire. Actually, it'd probably be really easy to connect all these two. So the white goes to the white, the reddish brown tan goes to the reddish brown tan, and gray goes to gray. All right, so I got this extra relay right here. Um, I'm no like actual dealer mechanic. If someone can send me the a wiring diagram, I can cut half these wires out because half of them are for the AC system, but I just need a schematic. I don't have that, so bam. All right, oof, she is back. Let's see if it works. Gang. It sprayed water at me. <laughs> I need to close off those heater core lines, but it works. So successful dash disappearation. And it looks pretty solid too, not to mention. So next thing I need to do is just get some self tappers for these right here, or maybe even weld that in, which would be super simple. But I'm not gonna leave y'all hanging with just the dash in. I'm going to install this Corbo seat. So let's go ahead and install this Corbo seat bracket right here. And I gotta put the seat upside down so I can bolt the bracket to the seat. And this is just a, light, a lightweight bolstered seat. Um, there's really no other way to explain it. It really is just a lightweight seat. And here. So the bracket is now attached to the seat. Now I can put the seat in the car. Dang, this seat's so much lighter than the other one. The stock seat at least. Okay. All right, one spot's on. There we go. All right, so I can get this on now. Scoot the seat all the way forward. Put the bolt in there and start it with my hand and then get on it with the wrench. We'll go as far as I possibly can with my hand so that way I don't experience any problems. All right, that's tight. Now I can move the whole seat back and tighten those bolts with the 15 attached to the, this guy and tighten. Holy cow, race seat is installed. Let's freaking sit on it. Oh my gosh, this thing feels way better now. Holy cow, this is insane. This literally feels insane, this is dope. And it turns on too, that's the best part. Dang, I'm freaking happy. All right, well, here we go, I'm in my seat. All right guys, so today's been actually very productive. It's actually been, it's been a series of days because it's extremely hot, if you can't tell, like I'm sweating, like, that's all sweat, like that's just complete sweat. My shirt's soaked, everything's soaked. But, got the Corbo seat in the car, got 40% of my dash in the car, like literally 40% of the dash is inside of the car. Which looks, it looks okay right now. I just, I can do a lot more to clean it up and make it look better. But honestly, it looks dope with that Corbo seat. It looks amazing. I can't wait to get the racing steering wheel and the whole steering column and everything. So on this side, you can see there's still some stuff right there that need to be cleaned off. I'm just gonna get a piece of like vinyl or not vinyl, but some acrylic or plastic or something along the lines of that. Just block off all of that so it looks clean from this side. But uh, all, it, all it really cares in this car is the cockpit. That's the only thing that I really care about because everything else is gonna be weight savings. I'm not gonna have any passengers because eventually I'm gonna start going fast and you don't need passengers when you're going fast because you're not even allowed to have them. So other than that, the car is looking freaking great. I already tested everything, it turns on. If you saw, there was some water that splashed out because the heater core needs to be capped off. 
All right, the heater core needs to be capped off right there. You can see those two lines right there are just completely basic. The whole car turns on and everything works, all electronics work, so that's always a plus on the first try. Y'all, project car getting closer and closer to the day, and the day is gonna be the day when them things get turboed. Also, the day is gonna be when this thing gets painted, and it's getting wrapped by a company that did the job on Gavin's car, Meep, and uh, they made it purple, but mine's not gonna be purple. Um, guess what color you think it's gonna be in the comments down below. So big thanks to him and more information will come out as soon as I get more information so y'all yeah, be looking forward for that that'll be coming within the next month and other than that the car looks pretty dope on the inside it looks extremely dope actually my trunk pop where is it oh there it is trunk pop <laughs> that's what happens when you got wires that are everywhere look at that dang that's a good freaking view Just silver silver and more silver with the black seat black steering wheel soon um, black racing steering wheel at least and it'll look dope so Guys, I'm ex super excited. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for cheering me on while I'm doing this, I guess, and just adding motivation to me because this is awesome. I'm super happy that the car's ended up like this. So y'all pat yourself on the back for pushing me to do all this stuff because it's y'all that I'm doing it for. So thank you very much. Have a good one. And remember, to freaking send it.